Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the video. Uh, and in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different and weird, uh, and that is trying my subscribers slash followers uh, weird food combinations for the day. So I put up a box on my Instagram story the other day asking for some suggestions and flicking through them now, these are just weird. So the plan of action is to do as many meals as I possibly can. I'll probably separate them into rounds or something like that. I'll rate each meal out of 10 and then by the end of it, we'll have a winner. So hopefully I'll just be pleasantly surprised by all of them. I'll give them all 10 out of 10 and we'll just have a great day, but I highly doubt it because some of them are just disgusting to be honest. Uh, but without further ado, let's go to round one. <laughs> Rachel's joining us for round one. So meal number one from Chelsea or 32 uh, is- I don't think you should expose the people. That's what you do in these videos. Scramble the egg whites. So we have our egg whites here and that is going to be mixed with banana. Oh God. <laughs> All right, so this is how we are looking. Ew. <laughs> what? Come on. It's not as bad as I thought. It's just like two completely different textures. The egg whites are so flavorless that it just kind of tastes like banana. I'd probably give it like... I'd probably give it a five. I'll give it a five as well. Next up we have normal eggs mixed with peanut butter. And I think this is going to be decent. Are you going to expose this person? Oh yeah. You need to expose everybody. Vanessa Silva, maybe? Peanut butter on the bottom, scrambled eggs on top. I'm gonna say peanut butter to be honest. Again, don't think that's amazing. What are you gonna give it? Three. Yeah, I'll give it a four. I thought that was gonna be worse, but that ended up being better. Final meal of round one from Jack Fitzsimons 98. Little brown flakes, which we have, uh, with chicken at warm or room temperature. Great in a wrap or as a snack. What's this one? Oh yeah, so I was thinking, like it probably needs a sauce. Like, that's cheap. There's no way he has that one. That's what he said. Well, I think you should have hot sauce. I personally think this is going to be very bland. Can we just put hot sauce on it? No. Oh, Jack definitely <laughs> has hot sauce on it. He was telling me. Who's chicken ever? <laughs> I think it could do with some sauce. Just saying. I think Frank's would have been a good addition. But I think that that is pretty good. Frank flakes are pretty bland, so yeah, it just adds a bit of crunch to yeah. the chicken, which is good. What are you going to give that out of 10? Probably a seven. I think I'm gonna give it an eight. All right, that is round one complete. I am gonna go do some work now and then get ready for round two. So in the meantime, let's throw it back to yesterday's pull session. All right, we are back in the garage again for a pull session. I am already one set into my first exercise uh, and I am doing a bent over barbell rolls. There is 62.5 kg on the bar. One second pause at the top of each rep, slow and controlled. Uh, and I'm super setting that with some dumbbell shrugs. And when you add up all of those plates, uh, there's about 40.5 kg. Each dumbbell weighs 40.5 kg. So again, making sure each rep is slow and controlled, introducing some pauses too, just to make sure I am getting the most out of each weight uh, because we are quite limited in the garage again. So I don't want to get to a stage where, you know, I have no more weight to progress on. Okay, so next up we have the lap pull down on the multi gym. And the multi gym actually doesn't have uh, any like kg or pounds on the plate so I can't track my progress in terms of either of them uh, but what I'm simply just doing is tracking it in terms of plate so I count this as 0 0.5 of a plate and I count the rest as one so on the lap pull down I started with 10.5 plates a few weeks ago uh, and I am up to 12.5 plates now and I'm supersetting that with the barbell shrug upper traps are a big focus of mine at the moment so I'm doing uh, eight sets per pull session uh, and there is 107 kg Kg on the bar. Oh, and you might be wondering why I am supersetting my exercises. So supersets are something that you know I don't religiously use, but when I am tight on time, like today, I do like to superset my exercises just to make things go uh, a little bit quicker. And if you are tactful with the exercises that you superset, so exercises that don't work uh, the exact same muscle group uh, or exercises that are not extremely fatiguing, like I wouldn't superset a squat with a RDL, then it's not going to have a negative effect on your performance. And I find that you know I can still uh, progress regardless of whether I am doing supersets or not. So, you know, they're just handy. Okay, so next up we have the barbell bicep curl. Yes, we curl in the squat rack here. The garage gains is a judgment free zone um, and there is 37 kg uh, on the bar. And I'm supersetting that with cable face pulls just to give my upper back and rear delts a little bit more body.
All right, so round two, let's go. We have three more meals ready to taste. Now we're gonna start with what we think could be decent. Peanut butter on toast with a fried egg on top, but it is dipped in ketchup. Oh no, ew. Yeah. That's not decent. Compared to what's coming. Ew. It's a good bit of ketchup. Rach. It's dipped. Dip it properly in ketchup, but you won't participate in this video. <laughs> oh my God. All right, this is dripping everywhere, but this is the general idea. Mm. So I think I actually like the peanut butter and fried egg combo better than the scrambled egg variation, but the ketchup does absolutely nothing for that meal. It just makes it so much worse. What are you gonna give it? A three. A three. I'll give that one a four. Let's go to our next delicious meal. Oh, did we say who recommended the first meal? Okay, so the first meal was courtesy of Chris Dub, uh, and the second meal we have coming, which just makes my stomach turn to be honest. So it is from Maven Henry and it is strawberry or raspberry skier in my salad, which is just terrible. No, that's not bad. All right, this is how we are looking. Maven, you are a sicko. <laughs> <laughs> that was wrong. Yeah, it's not great. I think just everything about that is absolutely disgusting. I'm gonna give that a one. Minus one. One and minus one. Okay, so the next one is from Heather XO. We've got very high expectations for this one. Uh, and it is white bread with butter and red Doritos or skips. Mm -hmm. So I had a white roll. I thought that would probably be better. Still white bread. Right, so we should make one Doritos and one skip. I feel like with the Doritos, you have to crush them. You a fan of that? Just so kind of more yeah. gets on it. Okay, so we have our skip sandwich and our Dorito sandwich. I think they both look really good. Comment below which one you'd prefer, skips or Doritos. I like this. It's kind of bland though. Mm. It's not real. Mm. So I think the Doritos one is definitely better than the Skips. The Skips one is nice, but it's a little bit bland. The Doritos one just has so much flavor. I'd probably give the Doritos a 9.5 and the Skips a 7.5. So what's the average of that? 8.5 out of 10. It goes 10 and 8. 10 and 8, so 9 out of 10. This is gonna be hard to beat. I feel like it's probably best to eat something normal today because my stomach just feels like ass at the moment to be honest not the good way yeah this is a teriyaki beef and noodle stir fry i'm just looking at the calories and macros so there is 472 calories uh 44 grams of protein eight grams of fat and 56 grams of carbs and i have to say it looks really tasty a company called healthy cave has uh, sent me out a few meals i'll show you them now uh, and they all look pretty good to be honest mm. That's so good. Let me actually show you the other meals. So we have a chicken carbonara with 484 calories and 45 grams of protein. Uh, we have a cottage pie and champ. I think I'm going to like that one. Uh, 477 calories, 39 grams of protein. Uh, we have two chicken and smoked bacon penne arabiatas. Uh, 489 calories, 44 grams of protein. There's the other one. Uh, and I also have another carbonara, which Rach will be very happy about uh, because she is a big fan. All right, so we have three meals here. Two on this plate, one on this plate. Charlie Smith, four, five, six. I'm judging you, Charlie. Yeah, me too, to be honest. <laughs> Recommends a banana and tuna sandwich. Charlie, how did you think about putting these together? Honestly, that is a genuine question. Do you think it's okay? <laughs> okay, it's not lovely, but I don't feel like I need to spit it out. Yeah, I just think it makes the whole thing taste a little bit less tuna-y because the tuna sandwich on its own, I'm not a fan, it's just very fishy, mm -hmm. but the banana kind of neutralizes the tuna, gives it a bit of a sweetness. But I think it's a, it's a good show. Charlie, it's a good show. We owe Charlie an apology. <laughs> What are you giving it out of 10? A 3.5. I don't think I'll have it again, but based on the fact that I thought it was going to be disgusting and it actually turned out to be above average, I think I'm going to give it a 6.5. Ooh! Mm -hmm. Me and Charlie are mates. <laughs> Next up, we are going to go with this one. So, at first glance, let's take the tuna <laughs> off the plate. Yeah, so at first glance, it just looks like waffles and beans, which sounds appealing. But JVP1993 says, potato waffles with salt and vinegar on them mashed into beans. So I think salt will be fine. Yeah, just... I, the vinegar is a bit like, mm, but I don't know. See, vinegar is nice on chips. Potato, waffle, chips, kind of similar. So I think it might be okay. There we go. Yeah, I think it's 
think it's pretty good, Rich. Yeah, like I'd eat that now. Yeah, so would I. <laughs> Jamie, she likes it. It's a 10 for me. No, it's not 10. <laughs> you're running off of Jamie. You can see the flirting. It's an 8, sorry. Sorry, Jamie. All right. Oh, here we go. What am I going on? See, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the surprise factor into it because <laughs> I... You want to see me? I am Simon Girl. I'm gonna bring the surprise factor into it, the entertainment factor into it. This is a YouTube channel after all, Rich. So I knew the Doritos was gonna be good, but I didn't think this was gonna be good, and this was good. So the surprise that brought me, I'm gonna give it a nine. Sure. Well done, Jane. All right, so last but not least, let's move this to one side. All right, so at first glance, this just looks like a cheeseburger, which is pretty appealing, but you want Adrian? Yeah. Maybe says sour patch. We don't have sour patch, but we have sour squirms uh, with cheese for hamburger. What's cheese for hamburger? Does he mean like spare the meat? With cheese for hamburger. Does he mean just no, sour patch with cheese, cheese on its own without like, no, the burger? No, cheese for hamburger. Like, is there a specific hamburger cheese? Well. We're doing it this way. This is so weird. This is so weird. There we go. It's actually not that bad. Like, I want to take another bite. Mm. <laughs> this is good. What the hell? Mm. For me, that has to be the big surprise of this challenge so far. I did not think that was going to be good. It just worked. Mm. It just added a bit of a zing. <laughs> zing. Right, you describe. It added a bit of a sour. <laughs> A bit of a sour squirm <laughs> to it. Yeah, we know that. Right, what do we give it that? I'm gonna give it a nine. A nine? I think I'm gonna give that a ten. That steals the show for me so far. Okay, final round of the day. It all comes down to this. So we actually have four different meals here. So we have popcorn and no. ketchup. This is courtesy of Ryan Yilmaz. Like I like ketchup, but this is just mental. So we are looking. It's a bit messy, I don't know how, <laughs> no, how he does it. Look at it, again, it's rotten. That's sick, I'm sorry, that's sick. I think it's okay, Rich. It's a little bit messy, but I have to say in terms of taste, I don't know if it adds anything to it or not, I'm not sure. I don't think it takes anything away from it either. Serious zero for me. I think give it a five. Oh my ten. god, no! Yeah, like anything below four is a fail. But yeah, I think I'll give it a C minus, or whatever it is. No, it's not a C minus. Is it a D? I'll give it a five. Courtesy of Akshay oh. Patel, 2003, oh three, chips and chocolate ice cream. And by chips, I think he means crisps. No, I've seen people dip chips in ice cream. It, well, it's crisps for this video. <laughs> it never is chips. No, he's American. <laughs> It's crisp. So this is the big juicy block of chocolate ice cream that we're going with. Right, so we have a little scoop kind of thing going on with the crisp. Mm, Shout out to the combo. Yeah, this is a good combo. Yeah, I think it's the sweet savory combo that does it for me. The ice cream is so sweet, but the crisp just kind of bring it back down a few levels. Yeah, that's really nice. It actually is really good. I had a feeling it would be nice, so. There's no surprise factor there. I'll give it a seven and a half. All right, so next up is from Davey2004, and he says rice cakes and pickles before a workout. We're obviously not doing it before a workout. Me and Rach are a huge fan of pickles. Okay, so two pickled gherkins on a rice cake. Maybe you gave me two mass ones. Bit of practice. No, no. <laughs> mm, pretty good. Not that weird. What are we giving that? Six. Yeah, I'll give it a six. Okay, so last but not least, from Xman629, we have vanilla ice cream with soy sauce on top. Nice big juicy block of Vianetta. Okay. Cheers. All right, so there we go. Oh, it smells Ew, weird. No. Mm, I'm not giving any reaction until you go. <laughs> right, Shan Hackett. I have to say, I'm really let down by that. I thought it was going to be one of those hidden gems, but... It's actually disgusting. It's not nice at all. What are we giving it? Well, it was a spitter outer as well, so minus one. A spitter <laughs> For me, it was almost a spitter outer. I'm gonna give it a two. All right, everyone. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna wrap the video up there, but before I do, I have to announce the official winner of today's weird challenge, and it has to be the cheeseburger with jellies. I don't know, I feel like it was just so surprisingly nice that I had no other choice but to give it a 10 out of 10 and you need to try it at least once in your life. So next time you are having a cheeseburger, you need to chop a little bit off, go to the press, 
get a couple of jellies and just try it. Trust me, just try it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment below and let me know as well. And if you want me to do something a little different, kind of like this from time to time, uh, then I'm open to it. So leave your suggestions below too, and I'll pick one and I'll do it over the next few weeks. So yeah, thanks again. I hope you are all keeping well, and I will see you next week. Oh,